Hello everyone, welcome to the Tussnaut channel. This is a short adaptation I've written about an episode in the life of Donald McBean, soldier extraordinaire of Clan McBean. Our army had come to lay siege to the city of Luke. Most of the city had surrendered immediately, but the heavily built citadels would not budge. The one positioned highest and built the strongest was selected by Donald and his men for their first attention. We took ten days to ready ourselves before the cannon brought down the walls and the mortar set the buildings ablaze. The local governor begged a parley while sending in secret for reinforcements. We fired all of our guns and mortars and destroyed a great many of them. The Duke of Marlborough, the commander of Donald's army, selected 20 men from each grenadier unit to first hurl their explosives and then attack in a sword-in-hand charge, killing all inside the fortress with no mercy. With a loud huzzah, we fired our grenades amongst them, firing our small grape shot also. This we did for an hour and a half, then leaping the palisades, making a terrible slaughter upon the French with our swords and bayonets. Although against our orders, we turned those surrendering out to flee behind us, where the Dutch shared no such policy. A French officer took Donald to a buried cache of coins and paid him several bags full of pistoles. Making his way back to the fight, he picked up a hand grenade from a dead enemy soldier, designing to throw it at the remaining defenders, when it exploded in his grasp, killing several comrades, <laughs> comrades about him blowing him back over the palisade walls, badly injured. Burnt my clothes so that the skin came off of me. I and my gold fell among the Murray grenadiers. I was like a dead horse from head to foot. They threw Donald into a trench of muddy water to douse the flames. There are perhaps a dozen or more stories like this that bear a look. I find this man fascinating. I hope you do too. Touch not a cat, but a Taj.